Hi. Hi. Welcome to my booth. I'm Valerie Fogel with Beautiful Bavets. And I'm really grateful to have everybody come and see us today here in beautiful Washington, D.C. We have a beautiful girl that we wanted to show you today. Our beautiful 29 to 30 inch brew. She is all couture dressed. This is on the Chevro body. And she has these beautiful big hands. And just, I think she's just one of my most spectacular dolls. She's absolutely incredible. Paul, get up a little bit closer so you can see just the facial detailing and her eyes. Yeah, just a, she's just an exquisite doll. And she has a Borzoi standing next to her that is very rare to see. This is a candy container. And actually we have two of these large ones here in the booth today. These were made to house candies and goodies years, years, and years ago. And back in the day, you know, chocolates and sweets were so expensive that they were more valuable than gold. And so they would make these spectacular candy containers so that when the goodies were done, they had something left to remind them of how beautiful the sweets were. Oh, what a fabulous story. Does, so the head comes off? The head comes off. <laughs> you probably put a lot of treats in there. How neat. That neat? Luminous is how you can describe that doll. Just Isn't she? She's beautiful. She is. We have a wonderful little piece down here on the corner. This is uh, from the Regency Empire, or from the Empire period uh, in France. All this is beautiful ormolu gold. This little angel who's plucking the grapes, and there's two butterflies on the rose. And it actually works. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that fun? It's so beautiful. I love things that are kind of the right scale, you know, for the do bigger dolls. Right. So I try to find things that look appropriate. Speaking of finding things, your booth is absolutely breathtaking. Paul, pan around here a little bit. So this Valerie Fogel is on uh, Ruby Lane under Valerie Fogel's Beautiful Bay Bays. That's the Correct. name of your shop. Correct. And let's take a let's just take a cruise. I'll walk over here. And she's, I know she's on Ruby Lane, and so is she. Yes. But you just have we such have a, a lot more dolls collection. to add. Um, these are our scroll FGs, and they, are, I think they're just really beautiful. And we just have this new little friend, and he's a French bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> And then we just um, we just brought lots of wonderful things so everybody could have a selection. And um, the staging you do is just so incredible. Thank you so much. We have Bruce, we have our circle dot, we have a little brevete here. We have a wonderful little early portrait and a later portrait. And then some FGs. This is a fun thing right here, this little basket of a trends. Early little toys. These were New Year's Day gifts. Is it trends uh, French for toys? For, to, for toys, early small, toys. yeah. Early toys, that trends, small little How things. How fun. And we have this darling little girl. She has her own little toy, little Paul Chanel. <laughs> we can just tell that you just really enjoy your job. I love you my job. You just love it. I love my job. And is job. that a curé? This would be Madame Curé. <laughs> yes, she's... Uh, She's quite a lovely lady. She has uh, all original clothing and her original marked boots. And so we've tried to match her up to some goodies that are her scale. A little desk and accessories. And we have little mignonettes. And I love this furniture. We just got this recently. It's called Leonhardt Furniture. And it was made in Germany for the French market. And then here we have a Schmidt, and again, matched to an accessory that is wonderful. So Isn't that a darling little vanity? You know, when I was in Monaco, I don't know if I told you this before, but they have in the palace, they have a whole room devoted to these. And they're actually earlier than what I had, I had thought. I thought they were from the 1880s, and they're actually from as early as the 1740s up to, wow. you know, onwards. You can see many of them, so Absolutely it, was, it was interesting. We have a pair of Petit and de Moutier dolls here, PD, um, brown-eyed and blue-eyed. She's dropped, somebody's messed with her babies. <laughs> See, they, oh, you have to carry them. 
<laughs> so most of your dolls are predominantly French. Yes, I have a great, great deal of French dolls. I, I, it really is my preference. We have a beautiful painting of French children with their toys. That was painted in the 1880s, late 1880s. That's beautiful. And then over here we have a pretty little Smiler. And she has her original trunk filled with goodies. So this little girl has her two little dogs and all of her little accessories and wardrobe. And then up above, we have a little, this is a tiny little FG. And then this little girl, I would attribute, I think, to Beauvoir. I'm not certain, but- She looks like it. She, she does to me. And she's so darling with her little tiny heels. And <laughs> she has a little purse with a key on it. <laughs> oh, just phenomenal. And then we do have some German some dolls German. here. I love your little bulldog. Thank you, I know you do. <laughs> Um, so we have Cupy and we have our little Googly from Kessner and then our little, um, I believe this is K-Star 126. And then this is one of my favorite girls here. Um, she is attributed to Jamel and she's completely original except I did add the fan. Oh wow. <laughs> But magnificent. She's, she's lovely. Absolutely magnificent. Now, is that her original trousseau? This is um, original and what she acquired over the period of time that she was in an estate. She just actually, I just caught her in from Paris. And um, this is a Ribery and Delphieu, or RD, as known as an RD. Um, exceptional face, I think, on this one. Oh, yeah. Just. Um, oh, and I just love the closed mouth, and she's just. Just beautiful. Just luminous eyes. She, she really has beautiful eyes. And then we have our portrait. I think that we've, we have shown her. She is on Ruby she Lane right Ruby now. Lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have much work to do when I get home. <laughs> well, if you're just tuning in, Valerie Fog we're in Valerie Fogel's Beautiful Bay Bays. A lot of these are on Ruby Lane. Um, if not, you can always call Valerie and she's happy to help you with anything. We're taking a live booth tour at UFDC. So let's look over here. Yes, and over here we have a little trio of Jumeau. Uh, we have our E12J, a large EJ. And then we have a petite EJ, little tiny uh, size six. And then we have, a, I believe, a size seven portrait by Jumeau. And then this doll is very unusual. This I haven't seen too many of the FG, of the, uh, this is a scroll, FG scroll with the open mouth with and teeth. The six teeth. Wow. And very oily bisque. She has beautiful oily bisque. She says, I'm here. I'm here. She's so cute. Uh -huh. And this one says, well, I'm here too. <laughs> <laughs> we have a little Simon and Halvig oh. 1159 lady doll. So that's our oh, booth. Valerie, thank you so much for sharing <laughs> your booth. Oh, we have oh do we want to see this doll oh, one yes, more time? Yes, Should yes, we bring yes. The creme de la creme. It's all right, then. And she has been granted a f fabulous couture silk outfit. Perfection. She's she is just absolutely, who is she? Made for the 1867 Parisian Expo and by Jumeau. And uh, only 20 of them were ever made. Exceedingly rare. I'll get a close-up of that of her face. Thank you. And of course, she has the other Borzoi. And dogs are best friends. That's right. <laughs> dolls and diamonds. When I was setting her up, she actually reached out with those articulated fingers and grabbed my diamond necklace. <laughs> and it got tangled in her hands. And I said, I know diamonds are a girl's best friend, but really? <laughs> Well, we hope you are having a good time, and Valerie, thank you for all of your hard work on your oh, and we're happy to be here with you today. Thank you so much. I've really enjoyed being here, and I've met so many wonderful people. It's a pleasure to have you and Paul come through. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.